spell is Seth Fuentes, L-I-S-S-E-T, Fuentes, F-U-E-N-T-E-S, with LATV Valley Traffic Division. What do we got, ma'am? So, um, at approximately 9 a.m. this morning, uh, we received a radio call of a vehicle versus vehicle uh, fatal traffic collision on Rosco and Coldwater Canyon, uh, where it becomes Shelvin. Um, a Silverado, a pickup truck, green in color, was traveling at a high rate of speed uh, northbound on Coldwater, where it becomes Shelvin. When it uh, ran the red light and collided with a Mini Cooper, silver in color, that was traveling westbound on Rosco Boulevard. The, collision, the force of the collision forced, forced the cars into another vehicle, a uh, silver car finder that's located uh, at the corner here, uh, that was stopped at the, at the red light, waiting for the red light uh, to go southbound on Coldwater. Um, so there was a multiple vehicle collision. The uh, driver of the Mini Cooper, unfortunately, who was going westbound, um, took continuous injuries. Uh, the intrusion to the car is, uh, it was pretty bad, so it caused his death. Um, at this time, uh, we're being told by multiple witnesses who have videos, uh, two photos, that the individual that was driving the pickup truck um, exited the car and entered into another silver uh, sedan, at which point they uh, took off westbound on Roscoe Boulevard. Witnesses, some witnesses chased them um, as far as they, as they could uh, through different streets uh, in the area, uh, at which time we believe, and we, I still have to go to that scene, um, a vehicle, the vehicle was abandoned and uh, multiple occupants exited the vehicle and took off. Uh, so right now we're looking for uh, these occupants that helped the initial hit and run pickup truck driver take off, uh, knowing that there was somebody uh, critically injured and eventually passed away. Um, so we're going to go to that scene. I don't have the uh, street address uh, of that second car at this time, but I think I'm going to a little bit. So um, if you are watching the news and you're the driver, the pickup truck, by the way, is uh, stolen. It has been stolen out of Palmdale. So um, somebody stole the pickup truck and um, was driving this vehicle. So it makes sense why they took off. And then these other people that were driving behind them assisted them in furthering the crime to take off with them. So uh, we're looking for the hit and run, hit and run driver plus this occupants of um, this other vehicle that assisted him in fleeing the scene. Does anybody else have any questions? I apologize for the elementary question, but uh, because the driver fled, and we have one deceased. What kind of charges are we looking at now? So at this time, um, obviously, we're, um, this person is facing a felony hit and run um, charges, causing death, uh, on top of obviously um, driving a stolen vehicle and other stuff. Uh, but at this time, we're, we're, he is looking at facing a felony hit and run charges, causing death, and or more charges as we uh, further our investigation and par find more information. Um, and for witnesses, the community members um, that might have been in the area we are asking for your assistance, there is a $50,000 reward as well that we have. Um, the city has put forward so that we can get information in regards to this uh, upon convic conviction and locating this uh, suspect. And those other occupants that helped the suspect, those individuals can face the same charges? Correct, and uh, uh, obviously they're being an access accessory to a crime, and this is a serious crime, it's a fatality. Should they have stay, you know, yeah, you know, obviously the stolen cars so, you were know, the person left for obvious reasons, but now they're facing all the cars and the friends of whoever assisted this individual to be as well. Last question from me. Uh, do we have a description of the uh, the suspect that drove the green pickup truck? Uh, we do have a, a male uh, wearing a red shirt and black pants. Uh, I'm still in the process of getting more information because I, I think to uh, talk to you guys. Uh, but I am gathering all that information right now. So there's multiple occupants, obviously, in the other vehicle that also assist with them. So I'm trying to get their information.